Hi everyone, Lucy and I'd like to welcome you back to another video. And in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how you can uh, set up your own contact form uh, for your website uh, using a plugin called Contact Form 7. Okay, so basically, this plugin is going to, you know, give you the ability, all right, for people to contact you on your blog, all right. Uh, when someone's on your website, and they're reading your content or you know they're browsing something and that something catches their eye uh, and they need to contact you uh, they need a, a easy way of contacting you all right do you see where I'm coming from okay so basically this video is just going to show you how to you know uh, get this contact form onto your website so people can easily contact you in a flick all right so basically, as you can see, uh, I'm logged into the WordPress back office, uh, and basically, what I need to do is I need to install the plugin. All right, uh, it's called Contact Form Seven. So if you uh, look at the top left, you've got the Add New button. Okay, if you click Add New, uh, it's going to come to the you know the plugins marketplace, if you would like to call call it that. And all you need to do is go into this search bar on the right hand side and just put in contact form 7. Alright. Contact form 7. Alright. That's two sevens. Bang. Okay. So once you've uh, put that in, it's going to be the first one. Alright. Uh, as you can see, it's the first one on the left. And all you need to do is click install that. Once you've installed the plugin, uh, it's just going to unpack, you know, un unpack the package, and then all you need to do is activate the plugin. All right. Uh, so basically, once it's unpacked, activate plugin, and once you've done that, the plugin is activated uh, on your on your website. Okay. Okay. So now the uh, plugin is activated. You need to create the contact form. Uh, for your website, all right. So basically, if you look on the left-hand side, you can see that it's got the contact form uh, on the left. Uh, if you click on contact, it's going to bring you to the plugin, uh, you know, dashboard. All right. Uh, if I just move that over here, uh, and as you can see, it's already created you uh, a contact form. But what I want to do is I want to delete this one. Okay, apply, and we're going to start from scratch so you don't get confused uh, along the way. So if you look at the top, you've got the add new. Uh, if you click on add new, uh, this is where you'll add a new contact form. All right, uh, and uh, once you've completed this contact form, you will then add the short code to your you know the contact us page all right i will show you how to do that uh, but all you need to do in here is just give your contact form a name so for example contact lewis okay very simple and just click save once you've done that it's very very easy from here all right you don't need to be messing with any of these settings you know you just leave these settings as they are okay uh, and now you've saved it, all you need to do now is you need to create a page to put your contact form on. Alright, so if I go to pages, which is on the left, uh, and then if I add, add a new contact form, so I'm going to add a new one for this purpose of the purpose of this video, and I'm just going to name it Contact Lewis. Okay, and all I want to do is publish that quick. Once that's published, you then need to go get the short code uh, for the contact form. All right, so the short code for the contact form will be in the contact section once again. So uh, on the left hand side, and once you've gone on there, uh, you've got your contact. Uh, form that you created literally two minutes ago all right and if you go across you've got this short code 
okay? So once you copy this, all right, uh, you then need to go back to the page that you've just created to put this short code on. So contact Lewis, edit. And then all you need to do now is paste this short code into this uh, section here and then click update. Now you've updated it, now you can view the page, all right? Uh, basically, if I view the page now, it should have the contact form there. So, uh, you know, customers uh, or prospects that come to your website can easily contact you, all right? So that is how you uh, create the contact form of Contact Form 7 uh, within uh, WordPress. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got a lot of value of it. Uh, and uh, I'll speak to you soon.